I had another question for you, changing topics. I heard you had some issues with your vehicle being vandalized. God damn. Did I tell you guys about the last four times it got vandalized? I, if you did, I, I don't might recall. have. Yeah. All right. So let me try and go through a history of my vehicle because let me let me start back. I when I moved out to North Carol or from to L.A., I got my I bought my dad's car for like 600 bucks. It was a 2002 Pontiac Grand Prix, 295,000 miles on it. Like it whined. It was it was it was my beater. But that was the car that I had. You know, I was like a little YouTube guy. Mm -hmm. um, and then eventually, like once things started to pick up uh, and I totaled the car by ripping off the passenger. My girlfriend at the time was backing up the car, ripped off the passenger mirror. And I took it in there like, well, it's total. <laughs> the car is <laughs> and I was like, that well, mirror just... was the last straw. <laughs> yeah. I was like, just put it back on. He's like, no. Like, no. <laughs> so, so I was like, okay, fine. I, and I got, I got a, um, a Mercedes, and I was like, wow, this is incredible. Have like a, a not only which Mercedes. Up? Uh, a C43 AMG. So I definitely Ooh. did talk about that car yeah. last because I, I remember your word. picture. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. carry on. So. Yeah, so I I was like, this car is the it's it's incredible, and I'm leasing it. So I moved back to L.A. after a stint in Portland, and um, I live on I live in Hollywood off of a very busy street. I mean, a ton of foot traffic and shit. And one day I go out of my car and I drive it, and um, it's like making a ba bump sound, and it's sh physically shaking. So I pull over to the side. I'm like, something's wrong. I look around. I don't see anything wrong with the car. Like the wheels are all fine. So I call, uh, get a tow truck. They bring it into the shop. The shop has my car for four days. They're like, we don't know what's wrong with it. We can't replicate the problem. But when we drive at slow speeds, we notice it. And then eventually they find out because the way that my rims are, the lug nuts are tucked in deep into the rim. Um, they were like, oh, all of your lug nuts are gone. And I was like, what? They're like, yeah, except for the one that uses a key to take off. Locking all of them are gone. Nut. Yeah, and I was like, so somebody tried to steal and brick my car in my in my carport. So I'm parked on the street or in my carport that has street access. Can you explain bricking your car? Is that like when they they put your on car bricks? on bricks? Yeah, so they take the wheels off. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me! And so I was driving. They were driving around on like one lug nut. That thing gets sheared off, and then like that person's <laughs> dead. Yeah. So I was like. I was scared. I was like, somebody's trying to kill me. <laughs> but then, yeah, but they're like, no, like they just didn't have the right Mercedes tool. So I was like, fine. Um, um, like a couple months later, I come out and my the AMG badge off my car has been ripped off. And I was like, okay, that's just fucking stupid. Like the fact that somebody would take the badge off the back of your car and probably put it on their car is just like, I thought that only happened in movies. But they also had taken off the registration on the... Uh, um or the whatever like the february sticker on my license plate too oh, fuck i know and i was like well that's like a 150 dollars sticker right there and <laughs> i gotta go to the dmv so i'm like fine i can't get this back i don't even know where to start file a police report um about the two incidences and then my neighbor upstairs calls me and he's like hey man i think i found your amg badge i was like what do you mean he goes it's on the back of the car parked directly outside your driveway go check check it out i walk out there's a mercedes out there with a janky amg badge on the side and i immediately know because i love cars that's not an amg it's not a g50 which it also had the badging of and it had uh, uh the wrong type of mercedes emblem everything was fucked about this car and it also had my damn sticker so i call the cops i get them over there they're like well we can't do anything about this do you know what the guy looks like i was like no but that's his car that's my sticker and that's like well we can't match your sticker to your car because it's just like a registration thing we can't match the amg badge to your car we don't have any suspect outside of somebody could have put this on there i'm like you guys are being dicks but i get it so then the guy's like all right well we've ran this car five times it shows up but nothing comes back came back with it and my smart ass goes have you checked the VIN yet? And he was like, nope. Walks over to the VIN and he starts laughing. He's like, the guy scratched off all but the last four digits of the VIN number. Ran the last four against the license plate. Comes back stolen. Um, they repo the car. I still don't have my badge back. Oh. <laughs> That's the last six months. Like, Hang on a minute before you take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I wanted to. It's like, it's evidence. So now I'm like, well, okay. All of these things have happened in broad daylight or something. I'm pissed off. I come back from Coachella and uh, park my car wake up the next morning and my window is bashed this was like two months later and i was like god damn it i can't catch a break they had stolen the only thing in my backseat was a leather um 
a leather like box, which they probably saw and were like, that's something expensive. And they weren't wrong. It was my friend's hair dryer, very expensive hair dryer. <laughs> but somebody saw it was like, there's some nice stuff in there. Now it was just a nice hair dryer. So then <laughs> now, you know, I, I'm walking back from the store. I'm hung over. I, I, it was like the day after football. And I have, I have a, um, I have a beer or a six pack of beer and a can of salsa because I just walked to like the 7 Eleven down the street. And I and I walk past my car and I see it like somebody had drawn on it and I just put it down and just stared at it because I was trying to figure out. I wasn't even like mad. I was just trying to figure out what the fuck somebody had written on it. They had written, come in my food, uh, live TV, Beyonce died, come in my food or something like that. <laughs> and, what the and, How do you spell and, come and in just, this scenario? All right. C U M. Okay. You're like, dealing with a madman, first of oh, all. For, yes. Second of all, why don't you have cameras? All right. So I love this thing. Kyle, there are three million people in Los Angeles. All right. Okay. What is a photo of somebody going to do for me? Well, what if, if the camera was very public? And you know, that, like so right. But he, all right, I will get to that in a second. Okay. So somebody wrote come on my food in permanent marker on there. And I was just like, well, I guess I'm taking this into the shop. Not before I bitch about it. My next door neighbor um, offered to help me with it. But I was just like, it's a lease. I don't want to fuck up the paint job. Can I interrupt? I got a little yeah. lost on the coming on the food. He wrote this somewhere? In on the car. On the back of my car. Do you with have a, a photo of it? With a key? I don't. With a key or something? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you with a permanent marker. Like a Sharpie. Gonna, he wrote come on yeah. my food. Here, I'm going to. Here is a. Uh, here is a photo that I will post in the Discord. Well, this guy's just a super fan, Tucker. Why don't you just, you know, satisfy actually, his request? That's oh, what wow. I was worried about. Oh my about. god, this is oh, not wow. that cool. First Hang of in all, there, your car's lovely. Thank Sick you. Car. Um, but yeah, just like, like, look at the handwriting, everything. So here's the thing. One, as soon as I saw it, I realized that it was probably somebody who was. It's probably like a tweaker or something. Like nobody writes like. That's just, none of this makes sense. Then my neighbor, uh, like who was parked on the street, also had come in my food, Jay-Z dead, Beyonce did it, come in my food on the hood of their Volkswagen. So at that point, I was like, some fucking homeless guy was just like on one and just was marking all these cars. So yeah, I have since taped mm. a, I've since like uh, glued or whatever a uh, 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 fake camera above my carport. Okay. But it's not going to stop this guy. <laughs> like, this guy is going to do this no matter what. Touche, yeah. Here's, here's why I think the camera is a good idea. First of all, they're very cheap. And, mm -hmm. you know, they, it, when, when someone walked, every, every, my house is full of cameras. My, my, the outside of my house is full of cameras. And, like, if, if one of them gets tripped by motion sensing, I get a notification. It's like, hey, Kyle, move, I, movement on the south lawn. Kyle, and, I live on a very, very busy street. Uh, my car so is on can, the street. I'm sticking, I'm sticking you with can, you. I'm sticking with you. You can turn that off. You can turn okay. the notification off. Um, it, it's got night vision and the whole thing. You can watch live yeah. from anywhere, any of your cameras yeah. all, all the time. But if you recorded this maniac writing, come in my food on your car, I'm not saying that the, that the LAPD is going to like beat the streets and look, look at this guy. Yeah. But you're a content creator. And this oh, is content. Oh, yeah. You're right. right. I could have gotten more content out of it. I could have monetized that Twitter video. Uh, yeah, you're right. There was Throw there was some money to be you. had there. Yeah, yeah. It's enough mm. money to certainly. All right. So Kyle's thinking. He's lining. out thinking. All of us here, Tucker. Yeah. The silver <laughs> lining was that I took this into the dealership, and the guy the guys were cracking up. Like <laughs> they they knew immediately they could remove it without any problem. But ah, just, the cum bandit. Yeah. <laughs> The, the guy was just like, he was like, you drove this here, huh? And I was like, well, I just got out of the car in front of you. And he goes, you drove here with cum in my food on the back of your car. <laughs> I was like, can you guys fix it? And he goes, yeah, we'll do it for free. Just give us 15 minutes. Get out. Yeah, so they went. So what they did was they used, uh, I think, paint thinner. Um, they just put a little on a cloth, and then they mm -hmm. wiped it off. And since it's got a, uh, it's a newer car, and it's got a clear coat, they just wiped it off, wiped it with water, and they're like, there you go. No, no mark on it. So I was just like, now this is just an obnoxiously funny story. Did Not they? the end of the world. <laughs> was I got a little lost in the telling of the combo. This is the only damage on this time around. They on didn't. this particular one, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Jesus. I went to high school with a guy that um Mercedes circle thing. Yeah, he, um, it might have been Volkswagen. Anyway, he popped it out of the grill and wore it as a necklace every day for like two years. 
And uh, I didn't think much cool of it guy. other good than guy. it was good like guy. a really cool guy. <laughs> it, it looked like a really lame necklace. I don't know what he was going for. His whole identity revolved around being a stoner, <laughs> right? Like he, he smelled like patchouli and he had this long hair and, and like everything about him. Like, <sighs> are you sure it wasn't a peace sign, Woody? Yes. Cause it's, it's, yeah. No, because I think it was actually a VW one, not a Mercedes yeah. one. Oh, that makes sense. And uh, Jesus. Um, anyways, I was nearby him in school when someone dressed him down they're like what the fuck is with you and that uh necklace that you wear it's like one it's ridiculous nobody <laughs> thinks that's cool two <laughs> you are advertising to all of us that you are a vandal and a thief that's who you are and that is what you are and i was just like like dumbass me it didn't even think about how he got it like, i thought oh he just God. had bad taste in jewelry but wow. yeah, that's how he got it. He popped it out of someone's front grill. He had to. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you know, <laughs> I, like at this point, I'm just like, what more could happen to this? And also, I guess the the first month that I had this car got rear-ended by an uninsured driver um, at a stoplight. So I was like, this car at this point, it's been through hell and back. Like, this is my baby. I'm I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to buy it when my lease is up and then I'm just going to like ride it into the ground. It's been through hell. Nice. Jesus Christ. I, I, have you ever like done that? Bucks. Have you ever? Uh, first of all, I think it's one of the scummiest things that you can do is to vandalize someone's car, especially, or maybe I should, mostly if it's just a random person or someone right. who's done nothing to you. There's a difference because maybe someone did this because you're you. But have you ever vandalized someone's car who deserved it? I've thought about. Uh, there was one person who I thought about like keying their car and then I like really got into the the mindset of like how am I going to go about this and I was like well that's not even like that's not even going to like make it worth like I would want to pop their window you know windows are a pain in the ass keying your car sucks but like you have to pay a lot of money you can like kind of buff it out maybe you break their their rear windshield or rear windshield or whatever the fuck it's called that's that's a that's that's a dick move that's, see I that's awesome. See, I'm on the other end of this because if I have, if it's happening to my car, I would m much prefer you break one of my windows, break all my windows before you key it or dent it, because that mm. I, you can't buff that. If if you go through the dent is a problem. The, if you dent like a quarter panel of the car, you have to replace the whole panel. That's expensive. No, what? So you can get you can pop dents out. You can you can go on the. There's guys who are pros oh, yeah. at this, and they go on the backside with a special tool, and they can they can push it back out. Keying is the worst thing. If you go all the way through the paint, oh, if you score the metal, it, yeah, that's the worst thing you could do to my car because now I have to have it repainted, and that's thousands of dollars. Even but, if it's just a quarter pound, it's going to be yeah, eight hundred bucks or something. That's true. Um, but if you break my window, it's like, eh, let's get some new windows. You know, and right. you, you can call a number and they'll come do that at your house. That's Please how I make it a front one. Windows. They're always due for replacement anyway. Please do. It's my always an window. upgrade, right? Like every time I get this like big spider web of a damage on the front from a rock and then replace it it's like i should have done this two years ago this is great <laughs> i couldn't yeah, relate to just that getting more. a fresh windshield yeah you were with yeah. me i think woody when i when we were um out in out by memphis did that that special forces thing and that rock fucking cracked my window mm -hmm. i got that replaced last year <laughs> <laughs> but i bet you loved it i bet you oh, loved, i should have done I this like, why didn't i just because it's like you call like I don't know, safe auto glass sure. or whatever. Yeah, safe light just, repair, safe light replace. Light replace. <laughs> and they just show the fuck up. And one man is, it has this like suction cuppy jacky up thing. And uh -huh. he just knocked it and out. And they do it in your out. driveway. It's great. Yeah. Like, like to me, one of the pain in the ass is like taking your car there. And then you don't have a car. So right. you, maybe you need to schedule a ride or manage somehow. You're in Uberville, but I'm not. You know, I would need maybe Jackie to help me out. But if they come to my driveway and just handle it, you know, while I'm surfing the oh, web, that's, that's great. That's great. Slashing a tire wouldn't be all that bad either. I mean, it wouldn't be good. Slashing a tire would be anno annoying mm. because then you have to get it towed. Um, and I don't trust like, I mean, that wouldn't be that bad, but you're well, right. I'm a man, it, so I would just put the spare on, but, uh, but I, but I hear you. I have run. dainty gamer <laughs> hands. I've changed two <laughs> flat tires in my life. Both really? went fine. I just, if I could not do that again, I'd prefer to i'm on the other end of the spectrum i've got the proper impact wrench for it like it would be yeah. no oh trouble at all. yeah <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, I'd, be, I'd be ready to go on that one but the problem would be like what if your tires have thirty thousand miles on them you can't just buy one brand new tire now now you have to get an early tire replacement all the way around and my tires are expensive the coopers yeah 
They're not. <laughs> when, <laughs> fucking with you. <laughs> when's the sun? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. Like, you can't even afford the Cooper's wings. Get out of here. <laughs> Cooper's. <laughs> Call back for the old fans. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've never actually vandalized somebody's car, but I've definitely had that uh, that thought process too. Like, like it reminds me of that Seinfeld episode where George sees the guy parked in the handicapped spot. He's like, I'm going to spit on it. And Jerry's like, yeah, I think you should. And he's like, I will do it and he like walks right up to it like, a, like leans over to spit and the owner walks up and he just goes nice car nice car and the guy's like, yeah, thanks. And just gets in and drives away uh, but I've, I've never done that it seems like a cowardly yeah. thing to do even if you do have a good reason to do it yeah they're not even there to defend it's like any any like defacing any property especially when the person's not there it's just kind of like well what's the like what risk did you take to do that None. None at all. I guess that you're just thinking like he's gonna be so mad when he sees this. He's gonna feel what I felt when he cut me off in traffic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't get road rage. I just kind of, I don't know. It takes a lot of effort to be mad. I very rarely get actually angry at people who cut me off. It's just like, what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. When I see it, I'm just like, what was that? <laughs> you, you dummy. this guy. <laughs> Is that your move? Okay, okay. <laughs> 